And so here to make sense of what ultimately this means for the market, we want to bring in Megan Horneman, Verdant's Capital Advisors Chief Investment Officer. Megan, there's no shortage of topics to get into with you here this morning. Yesterday, we had the massive sell-off, a lot of that having to do or really driven by the larger cap tech names. Here we are this morning, and it seems like Wall Street almost reevaluating or taking a second look at as to what exactly this GDP print means for the Fed's plans to cut rates. I'm curious what you're most focused on here this morning ahead of the opening bell. Well, I think what the data shows us today is that the Fed does not need to be in any rush. So I think anybody who expects a rate cut at the July meeting, I think that's completely off the table. And I think it even may put September in question. Let's keep in mind, though, that we still have a lot of data to get through before we get to that September meeting. But I think it gives the Fed that flexibility to say, hey, you know, things are slowing, but they're still OK. Um, the inflation component to this, we cannot forget this. Um, it is coming down and it's you know rising at a slower pace, but it is still not where the Fed wants it to be. And our biggest concern is that the Fed is walking such a fine line here with inflation that if they come in and cut rates or insinuate that they're going to get on this kind of aggressive rate cutting cycle, that this can reignite inflation. That's one of the biggest risks that we see right now um, for the economy. Question, though, we were talking about the inflation uh, status right now. Let's talk about labor, because if we trigger if we go up to the employment rate, uh, if it takes up to 4.2 percent, I believe that will trigger the SOM rule. And then I, you can imagine the headlines that will come out of that. Uh, there is the uh, recession indicator has just flashed this warning. Do you think that would give the Fed more cover to lower rates in September despite the election looming? Yeah, I think what the, the employment report's going to be really what decides if, if this is September or after September. I, I still think there is a likelihood you'll get a cut at some point in the fourth quarter. Just not exactly sure at this time which, which meeting it's going to be. Um, I do think that the economy is slowing to today's report. Let's remember it is backward looking, but there are some signs of concern in the economy. The labor market, though, is not cracking as much as I think people um, are, are expecting. And so that, I think, is going to keep the Fed kind of on that defensive. So they may be able to cut once, but they may cut once and then say, hey, this is one time we're taking it meeting by meeting. Um, I, I think the labor market, we saw the jobless claims numbers today. They have been picking up, but they're still pretty low. So again, we'll wait and see what we get from the employment side of things. But I think right now, this is just kind of gives the Fed some time to just hold on. Let's get some more data, reassure people that they still want to cut rates, but there's just no rush for this. Megan, let's talk about the sell-off that we've seen uh, take place here on the street over the last several trading days. And we're coming off what was an ugly day here for markets yesterday. Are we starting to see the narrative shift surrounding AI? And I guess ultimately, maybe what does that tell us about the increase in volatility that we could see as a result? You know, we've been saying for some time that this AI momentum trade would probably end up stalling because eventually it'll it'll hit a wall. We'll have to see earnings that are translated into this AI boom, and we're really not seeing that yet. So I and when you looked at it from a valuation perspective, valuations had just priced in such perfection here from an earnings standpoint, from an interest rate standpoint, that eventually we would see some sort of evaluation correction. And I do think that's what we're in the beginning stages of seeing. Oh, we got time for one more here. Anything else you want to leave with investors? Um, I, you know, I think right now the best thing to do is take a look at your portfolios. I, we think volatility is going to accelerate through the rest of this year. It's going to present some opportunities for investors to get back into areas of the market that have been unloved. You know, small caps, we could talk about that. Small and mid caps have had a little bit of a rebound here lately. Um, but from a relative attractiveness, they're very cheap compared to large cap. Make sure you're not significantly overweight in that large cap area that has run up so much. Rebalance your portfolio. Make sure you have some dry powder on the sidelines to put money to work because we do think there's going to be opportunities in the fourth quarter. To your point, small caps looking very strong in a technical basis, emerging from that multi-year base. Thank you as always, Megan, uh, Megan Horniman, Verdant's Capital Advisor, CIO.